so we're just going to mark the position of the stomach on the image intensifier you can see the stomach's actually quite high lying so we'll need to put quite a lot of air into the stomach to bring it down can we have some air in now please so we really want to bring the stomach down to below the costal margin down here the alternative is we'll have a very angled approach up into the stomach So we've given buscapan and air's going in through the NG tube. Okay, it needs to keep going I'm afraid, that's still very high. Okay, that's fine, we'll go for that. So I'm just going to mark my position on the skin to put the gastropexy device in three places. So a bit of pressure now. that's the lowermost one there so you can see we'll have to angle a lot to get up to the stomach from that one right so it'll be a sharp scratch this is local anesthetic a little bit of a sting okay is that all right I'm gonna do that in three places well done so you can see the position of the first gastropexy, which angled up will take us into the stomach and once we pull that down, tighten the gastropexy, it will make the others easier to insert. So it's the first gastropexy device, so a little bit of tension on the thread. Just a bit of pushing now. That's into the stomach. That's going to push the T-bar free into the stomach. And we can see on the intensifier, as we pull it tight, that pulls the stomach down. So a little bit of tension on there. Now I'm going to crimp it using the hinges, the bit closest to the hinge on the artery forceps to give the maximum force. I'm just going to cut off the excess thread. And that's the first T-fastener in place. And if we check the position for the second and the third, second one will be there, third one will be there angled up again, we should be fine. So a bit of pushing again. And just releasing that T-bar again, pushing that all the way in. And we're just pulling the thread. And that's in a good position now. three T fasteners into position so we just check the position for the gastrostomy in the middle so angled superiorly that position will be absolutely fine just making a small incision for the gastrostomy now we're going to use the gastropexy needle to puncture the stomach again we've got air back we're happy with that then going to use a stiff super stiff Amplatz guide wire which I'm feeding into the stomach. And we've got plenty of wire in there angled up towards the fundus, that's fine. Then going to use a six millilitre angioplasty balloon to measure the length of the track that we're going to need for the gastrostomy. Okay. So just pushing that all the way in. I'm going to inflate the balloon. Pull the balloon back to the inside of the gastric mucosa. Now I've pulled that balloon back and now we're going to measure from the first marker on the balloon to where my fingers have pinched it at the skin and that's three centimeters. So that's a three, that's a three centimetre. centimetre gastrostomy tube we're going to insert. So I'm going to start dilatation off by inflating that balloon. It's a six millimetre balloon. We're then going to put in a 20 French dilator to allow us to insert the 16 French gastrostomy 
which of course is larger than 16 French because of the, out the balloon that's on the outside. Okay. So a bit of pushing now, so rotating as we go. And that's in position. Now we're just going to prepare the gastrostomy tube. So a bit of jelly on the outside of the tube, a little bit of jelly on the dilator. Thank you. Right, so this seven French dilator will just give it a little bit more rigidity when we insert it. Okay, Pauline, can I have a bit more air into the stomach, please? Okay, in, in a second, not just yet. So we're just taking the dilator out, leaving the wire in. Yes, please. So we're going to put a bit more air into the stomach just to make sure we've got the maximum gastric distension to help us put the gastrostomy in. Okay. Now, a bit of firm pressure, a bit of pushing now. Okay, Pauline, thank you. Now keeping forward pressure on the gastrostomy whilst inflating the balloon with one mil of contrast and four mils of water. Check the position on screening. Store that please. It's going to take the wire out. Now we're going to use neat contrast to confirm our position within the stomach. And we're going to check that laterally as well. So just Go on, you're alright. Okay. So if we just lower the table now. So injecting contrast now, you can see that falling away free into the stomach. It's not held up on a flap of mucosa. That's fine, happy that position. Let's pop in the cap back on the gastrostomy. That's us finished.